Eli Lilly, which has been a leader apparently, needs to make more faster. Jenny Horn's got the developing story with us. And host of Next Gen Investing. So uh, they're saying there's just total insatiable demand for these products? That's exactly what they're saying. And I think that if you look at like some of the, the figures, I mean like thousands and thousands of orders of these drugs a week, not just benefiting Lily, but not surprising to see that they're saying, hey, we cannot keep up with this unprecedented demand, specifically for Mojero, which is a, a d drug for diabetes, as well as Zepbound, that's specifically for weight loss. But their CFO did speak at this TD Cowan annual healthcare conference saying that while the company is making significant steps and overall expanding, they also d have seen these increases in production capacity that just have to take time. I mean, this is a company that doesn't just specialize in weight loss and diabetes drugs. They have several other clinical trials right now in their pipeline. They added they might not even be able to make this demand, though, for 2025, which wow. is absolutely insane. So just to illustrate like the, the craze in demand, particularly in the back half of 2023, Last year, we saw that ZepBound brought in around 180 million in sales between its approval, which was in November, through the end of the year. So just a matter of like two months, basically. We also know they've struggled, obviously, to keep up with demand for that specific drug, but they continue to really spend right now as far as R&D on manufacturing capacity. So this is actually the drug's first full year on the market. It's expected to become perhaps one of the best-selling drugs of all time, just based on demand initially out of the gate. So that's that's fascinating itself. But yeah, they've got to work on demand. It seems like a good problem, frankly, to me to have, which is probably why shares are still higher on the session. All right, fascinating. Uh, and, uh, you know, not a negative thing. It's like the best problem to have, I suppose. Shares uh, up on it. Maybe that leaves an opportunity, like we heard from a previous guest, for companies like Amgen to step in, make some more. Uh, if uh, the leaders right now can't, uh, can't get in, can't get their uh, supply chain rampant up enough. Mm. All right, we're gonna be losing a lot of weight. It sounds like. <laughs> you know, I, I guess so, but we'll have to wait till 2026 to get these drugs. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. I think I'm good for now. Thanks, Jenny. You too. Okay.